there guys what is going on sloppy here playing some more of the creator verse yeah welcome back to our beautiful world sorry i've been away a little bit i was just having technical difficulties setting up my microphone so yeah hopefully it's working right now or you'll probably never see this clip because i'll delete it and try something else anywho um aren't computers fun huh Golly gee. Anywho, um, I wanted to start off over today, over here today, because uh, I think I'm more or less done with this area. Your guys' feedback has been really great. Um, I do need to add some signs for new players, but um, I don't really know what to write. We don't have a ton of rules on this server. Don't, uh, don't be mean. Don't be a dick. Don't build too close to other people without their permission. And... Um, be a dog person. That's really that's really our only standards. And, um, you know, I would hope those are common sense, but I should probably write them somewhere. Anywho, um, I've also been doing a little bit of work in here. You can see I've sort of altered this uh, community bank side. It's a little bit less large now. I've also taken out the back so we can have some of the colored glass, um, which I really like. I've also sort of shifted up the floor. I just, uh, it, it was a lot, so I just sort of toned it down a little bit, but I think it looks really good. And, um, yeah, I'm going to finish this place at some point, I think. Um, I just, uh, I think maybe I'll do it on, like, a live stream. It's just, um, you know, it's just grindy, grinding a build. So, um, I'll do that at some point. I, I will. I, I promise you. I also think I'm going to try and stream. I think I'm going to try and do it on YouTube. Um, so turn on that notification bell because I might be live at some point. Anywho, I've been wondering what I wanted to build next. I don't really have any ongoing projects. I mean, I have my base, but, you know, bases are, are you know. Um, and there's one thing I really want to play with, and that is the painting. Ah, uh, yes, painting. Welcome to Crazy Town, ladies and gentlemen, where it is looking so cool. This is one of the community projects on the server, and uh, there's this really neat, excavation project going on this place looks incredible um that looks so good um the sheer like just shaping that is just it's incredible it really is incredible and um i really want to get to know this painting thing better there's a lot of different things you could do and um you know there's all these things down here there's an inverse button there's just a lot i want to explore with the painting Plus, you can do awesome stuff like this. Um, there's a lot I want to do, and I just kind of want to play with the painting. So, how many times have I said that in the last 10 seconds? I've also been watching a lot of HGTV. I'm not going to lie. It's the perfect channel for when you have to do something, but you also want something on. Because you only have to watch the first three minutes. You know, the people are like, oh, we bought this old house because it was a little bit of a discount, but we're going to renovate it. And they're like, we have this much for renovation. And then they have like a wish list of a million things. And then they meet a person who actually does renovations. And the person's like, well, we can do two of those. Maybe if there's nothing wrong with your house. Spoiler alert. There's always something wrong with the house. Um, and then you can watch the last five minutes where you're like, oh, look how good looking that kitchen is. Poured concrete as a countertop. That is a neat way to save some money. Anywho, um... Been watching a lot of HGTV, been really wanted to play with this paint thing. I also kind of want to play with the kitchen blocks. So I think I'm just going to uh, build a little house over in this area. It's going to be weird. Um, I'm not really going for aesthetics as much as I'm going for craziness. You know, I'm picturing Willy Wonka, a lot of bright colors. Um, I think I showed this last time, but <laughs> pretty awesome. Um... I'm going for, you know, crazy colors. I, I want it to fit into Crazy Town. I'm going to build it over here. I'm not sure if people are sort of building. You know, there's a few chunks claimed and whatnot. So I'm just going to build it over in this little area. Just going to be a simple little abode. And uh, I really just want to play with the painting and sort of see how it works. And hopefully um, you guys can help me out a little bit. Maybe you'll learn something from this video. I'm just going to play. I apologize. It appears my microphone abilities have not improved, and it is now only on the left side, but at least it's clear, um, so I'll, I'll work on that. I promise it has been an absolute nightmare. 
I uh, use this microphone for my real job, and when you plug it into an Apple computer, it just works great. There's nothing to do. When you plug it into Windows, all heck breaks loose, and um, that's really fun. Anyway, one of the first things I wanted to test out, test out with this painting system is how the actual color works. Um, so it's kind of interesting. I think the actual block retains some of its original color and sort of texture. Um, so these are all the exact same color. Um, these are a few different blocks. I was kind of curious about how the painting would work. Um, they're a little bit different, each of them. They each have a little bit of sort of a um, unique texture and unique properties that I was kind of curious how it would all work. Um, so, you know, here's the medieval brick wall, stone slab, canvas, diamond, blah, 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 blah. So just a few blocks that kind of have interesting textures and shapes that I was curious about. Um, so the color is pretty consistent across the board. The one block that kind of gets a little bit weird is the canvas block. The canvas block, um, like this is the same yellow. Um, and it's pretty much the same yellow across the board, except the canvas blocks, it looks a lot lighter. Um, you can see they retain their original texture really well. It actually does look like somebody just sort of spray painted like the texture, you know? Uh, which is pretty interesting. I imagine there's a lot of really unique combinations. Um, but I was curious about blocks like these. Um, I was curious about sort of how the color gets chosen. So it looks like they all have one primary color and then a secondary color that you can change. Um, so this one here, the primary color, and when I'm talking about that, um, you sort of have, um, when you're painting, you have a primary color and a secondary color. And you can actually sort of change those up, um, which is kind of cool. So for this one, the primary color is the actual swirls. And then the secondary color, I thought would be probably the rest of the block. But it turns out it's actually the um, outside of the swirls, which is kind of cool. Um, so this block here is actually this block, but the blue is inverted. So everything's the same except the secondary color is blue, uh, which I think I can show... So that's, uh, wait, no, I want this, uh, but for this block. So yeah, you can see just the inverted, it's uh, just coloring the outside of these lines, which is really cool. I think there's some uh, interesting possibilities with blocks like this. Um, for this block, uh, the primary color changes these little corner bits, and then the inverse color changes the actual mesh part of it. I think I just sort of showed. So the inverse color, that's if you just put a color on it, and if you invert that, the secondary color is the inside mesh, so the white lines always stay, um, which is kind of interesting. Um, yeah, I don't know what to say about that. Uh, this block I was a little bit interested in because it has such a distinct texture. Um, it has such a distinct texture, and I was curious about how it sort of handles textures that are like really unique and weird and it turns out it just paints over them um, which is fine so that's like what the blue looks like inverted it changes the inside patina bit uh, which is actually kind of fantastic because there's a lot of times when with these blocks in particular the roofing bits I really don't want that patina bit showing so now you basically have a way to um, sort of hide the patina bit or you can at least like sort of color it to your build um, so yeah, that's cool. I've also been learning there's a lot of sort of little quick fast hands. So you could just look at a block, copy it, you can inverse it, and then you can clear it. So there's really like, you don't have to go into the big paint screen each time if you're sort of working on a project. You know, if you have sort of your two colors, like let's say we wanted to go with red and yellow, uh, blue and yellow, you know, we could just have like two blocks set up and we always can like sort of, you know, uh, copy yellow, invert that, you know, that's what we want for the inside. Um, so they've made that very easy, which is nice. Um, I also tried out the holiday window. It looks like it just takes the color really easily. So those are probably going to be great um, for that sort of thing. Anywho, that was just a little bit of me playing with the colors. I don't know if this actually helped anyone. You guys probably already knew this. It's been out for a little bit, but I'm going to start building my house now. I started with a pool. <clears throat> start with a pool I don't know why I just it's what came to mind and uh, 
I went with pink. Um, it looks like a soft pink for these diamond blocks, and it looks really good. It looks. I've never liked the diamond blocks because I don't like how sort of blue they are. But uh, in like a subdued pink, I thought that would look so good. And then I have like a blue cobblestone. I will say the one thing about this whole painting system, here are some mud blocks. This is the lightest color on this entire spectrum. You know, they have these whites over here. Um, they look so dark on so many blocks. And I just think that's sort of uh, interesting. Like, that's the lightest color that you have. That's this white iron color up here. Um, it's just, like, a interesting. A lot of, like, the darker blocks just are really dark, and they're not coming back from that, which is fine. Anyway, I'm going to flood this now, uh, which will probably go poorly. I wanted a little fountain. I also wanted to keep these trees. These shorewood trees, I did not realize water would be colored. Oh. Uh... uh <laughs> Rough control, clear. Yeah, whoopsie, whoopsie, whoopsie. No, no, we don't want that. Um, normal colored water would be good. Anywho, yeah, I'm going to flood this pool. Um, it's also got some pink lighting in it, so I'm curious how it looks in sort of the uh, the nighttime, but I think it's pretty cool. Anywho, the house is going to be back here. Um, I accidentally made everything pink because I was trying to sleep away the night. Pink's cool. Well, I, uh, I don't know how it happened. I ended up at Easter. Um, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I got so wound up in all of the colors that I just, I just don't know. And here we are with this very plain looking house that I am now disgusted with. Uh, no, I'm uh, just sort of weirdly playing. I've got a little... Um, box over here. I thought this looked really cool. You could change just the inner color. Well, I'm sure you could change actually more than that if you do the inverse thing. Um, but I've got a little planter box where I'll put some, uh, probably some, you know, some, some crops over here. And uh, I've just been playing with uh, different textures, different colors. The, uh, the iron stairs look really cool. We'll have an upstairs and a downstairs. And uh, yeah, I've just been uh, sort of playing with the colors here. Um, you know, just you could really just paint anything, which is really, really cool. Um, yeah. Yeah, you know what might help is if we push out the door frame one. Maybe that'll help. A little bit. There's just a little bit more depth there. Um, I've been using these uh, stone brick. One of the things I've, uh, I've noticed... Well, I also just didn't feel like going and getting the resources to make actual bricks. One of the things I've noticed um, building with the paint, though, is you can get really, really caught up um, with the colors to the point where you're like, oh, those blocks don't really, you know, play well together. Um, so I just decided to go real simple and just, uh, you know, I think what I, I might try to do is just sort of each, like, little room and whatever as its own, like, color and, you know, craziness. Um... But yeah, it's, it's been a lot of fun. I'm just sort of being real weird with it. Um, I also don't really typically like build houses, so this is kind of a unique experience for me that way too. Um, but yeah, we got a uh, little upstairs, a little downstairs. Um, I'm trying to incorporate like weird blocks that I don't normally use, um, which is also kind of lending itself to being like, well, that doesn't really make any sense. Um, but yeah downstairs upstairs i don't think this place is gonna have any real functionality but uh you know what i'm having fun and uh, at the end of the day isn't that all that really matters do i want that to be yellow maybe maybe let's give that a solid maybe idea um yeah Along with the whole painting thing, um, Creativeverse also um, recently added a creative mode, and um, I haven't really played with it too much. There's something in the works um, that I'll talk about in a bit um, that I am going to do with the creative mode, but uh, yeah, I did open a creative um, server 
for for anyone in the discord and sort of the community here um if you guys are interested in sort of playing around with the creative mode the uh the links are in the discord uh, but i thought i'd come over and just check it out uh this is rue's area which is just staggeringly massive um, i wanted to go to um there's a big underwater build which i can't even imagine i uh, sort of jokingly named the server testing sloppy's patience i can't even imagine how much a pain it must be to build um, underwater and with water in this game <laughs> um it has gotten better i will say that but is um yeah it must just be such a nightmare um but they are building this massive underwater base community build which just looks phenomenal so i thought i'd come over here and share it with you guys also um some of you might want to be involved so um yeah this is the central area from what i understand this will sort of branch off they have these massive tunnels being built this is going to be some sort of central hub um that our wonderful community mod domas has been building He's also responsible for all of the bots in our Discord, so shout out to him. Um, just phenomenal, but like, look at the size of these. Even in creative mode, this would take such a massive amount of time. Um, that is pretty, pretty cool. He's also got some really neat ideas. Um, yeah, you can see they've worked down to this layer, but there's some really neat ideas. The walls, the retaining walls look incredible. And uh, yeah, the scale of this is pretty bananas pretty bananas and i want to showcase uh there's a few other builds there's this really cool sort of oil rig over here um maybe it's not oil they're digging for something in the water over here but it's a really cool looking build they use a lot of different blocks um they use the iron tables here which i think looks so good those are the tables the industrial tables um, but it's a cool mix of sort of they're using some of the um, medieval blocks and the stairs and whatnot Also, just look at the detail on this. I mean the fences the grates Everything looks so good um, And then you come up here and it's even got detailing. It's got little animated blocks. I mean it just looks incredible um, I'm not sure who built this whoever did It's phenomenal the Atlantis wall haven't played with that block set yet either Atlantis blocks anyway this place looks fantastic um, just phenomenal there's a few other builds I mean this is just gonna be so cool um, when it gets completed this one over here and a dote might not be Italian uh, this is actually a hotel area which looks really cool there's a really unique combination of blocks that's the yellow Adobe floor the one that everyone used to use for bathroom tile, um, but painted green, um, painted that color of green, <laughs> which just looks so good. The diamond stairs painted green. Um, yeah, like a real Emerald City vibe, which is really cool. But yeah, they've been doing these little rooms um, using some of the Atlantis blocks as well, which again, I don't know anything about. I don't even really know what they look like. I should look into that though, because they look like they're pretty freaking cool. Um, is this painted? Yeah, okay, so it's painted to match like this over here. I was wondering, I can't... I think that's blue originally, no, yellow. Um, but it looks great because it's still got the pattern, but now it matches the other side that's painted. Really gorgeous color combination and uh, using some of these other, these modern blocks that they added. It just looks really good, okay? It just looks really good. And there's, uh, this kind of made me laugh the first time I came down here. There's a pool down here. <laughs> uh, which makes sense, but I just kind of thought it was funny having, like, a pool in the bottom of the ocean. Um, ooh. Like, scuffed. Interesting. That's, uh, also painted green, though, which is neat. Um, they also did a really cool thing here with the glass slabs. Which I think makes a really sort of cool wall. I assume these are painted. Yeah, painted yellow. Um match up with the adobe wall that's not painted anyway really cool looking hotel um this one again i'm very excited to see what it looks like finished anadote anadote phenomenal that was terrible i should stop trying to do accents i feel like i just end up offending whatever culture it is that i'm trying to impersonate um anywho there's only one other build i think over here that i just want to check out 
Um, I meant to come check out this place a while ago, and it is just, I mean, the time it would take just to drain the water, uh, you know, is pretty crazy. We've got some painted sand. Yep, painted sand. Oh, inverted painted sand. Um, hmm, okay, let's see. There's something going on down here. This is the Solar Queens area. What block is this? Atlantis Sunken Wall. Okay. Okay, something's going on down here that I think will be pretty cool. It almost looks like she's just replacing she. Yeah, Queen is it. Okay. Um, you do you. I, you know, I, I always get caught up using the, the pronouns, and I'm like, oh, what, you know. Eh, eh. Um, anywho, um... Yeah, this looks really cool. It looks like she's maybe just replacing the floor that was here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Which is also, this is sand too, right? Brown and brown. I'm just, uh, I'm curious to see what this place ends up being. I thought I would come and share it in case any of you would like to get, uh, come over here and check it out. If you guys have any builds on the creative world you want me to check out, please uh, let me know how to get to them. Um, but yeah, I thought I'd show it just in case, uh, you can see the tunnel paths being, tunnel path is being mapped out, um, above the water, which is kind of fun as well. Um, whoa, whoa, whoa! Look at that. This is really cool. Bob GT, of course! Alright, where's the car hidden? Um, uh, Bob GT, phenomenal builder. We saw his auto museum recently, Bikini Bottom. That's where the tunnel will come in. Oh, I see, it's the pineapple! Yeah, from that show with the guy. Um, just, uh, cartoon logic dictates interior should be larger than exterior. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Um, look at this. Oh, this might, uh, I don't wanna... I wish that thing didn't show up, but yeah, that's a really fun... Um, yeah, so we have to go through. I'm curious to see. Yes, yes, yes. Ah, yes, yes, yes. The bungalow accent wall painted. That looks really good, actually. That's a really nice, like, texture. Hmm. We got uh, the TV with the pixelated pipe. Yeah, look at that. The chair. Everything looks so good. There's so many cool details. What wall is this? Straight limestone. Double painted. That is super neat. Wow. Galactic hole painted. Wow, 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 wow. Look at this. It's like we're in SpongeBob's sponge. Nope, that's the wrong word. Uh, holy cow, okay. <laughs> now, I only saw one episode of SpongeBob in my life, but uh, this doesn't look terribly familiar. I mean, it's a really cool room. It's just... Um, Okay. Cool. Very interesting. Oh, oh, what, 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 what? What is plain gingerbread eighth? Hold up. What? You can get eighth of a block now? What is happening? Do I, I don't feel like I don't know anything about this game. How do I get an eighth of a block? That's the, uh, we're going back. Anywho, um, yeah, this is the creative world. Uh, you can see we only have like 23 players. I think most people don't know. I think most people don't know that it exists. Um, but yeah, if you guys want to play on it, play with the creative mode, uh, we do have a world for it. So come check it out. There's also this really cool community build. Anywho, back to painting time party. I don't want this channel to turn into bragging, but I have a roof and a floor on my build, so, <laughs> you know, um, kind of crushing it at the moment. Um, anyway, I've, uh, yeah, a lot of blocks in here, a lot of blocks. I think they look pretty good, though. Uh, I went with the limestone pillar crown wall. Um, with a little bit of blue, and uh, this mirrors our roof, which um, 
I went very simple. I wanted it to be kind of flat because I think uh, we're going to have like an upstairs area. So there'll be sort of a lookout from up there that I think will look pretty good. So I went very flat with our roof. Uh, the floor, I decided to use some blocks that we've been sort of using. I neared the, uh, the line up there. Yeah, it lines up. Um, and then I used some cobblestone. I had this line. Um, it, I think it looks good. It's sort of fun and different. Um, I'm not sure any of this will be here eventually. Um, I might use this room for something else. Um, I think it will probably have like a bedroom upstairs or something. But yeah, it's very fun. It's very strange. And uh, here's my idea. I don't want to use any of the same blocks in any other room. So I think we'll probably have three or four rooms in this place. It'll be a decent sized little house, I think. Um, but I want every room to use its own collection of blocks and, um, you know, sort of force myself into, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, into using some weird blocks. That's sort of the whole purpose of this build is just to sort of uh, get weird with it, get jiggy with it, as um, Snoop would say, get jiggy with it. Um, yeah, <laughs> so that's, uh, that's what I think I'm going to do with this build is just be really weird with it and... Um, yeah, and then it'll be, you know, a member of Crazy Town. Also, now, I know I just said I don't want this channel to be bragging, and I'm about to do it again. I spent uh, most of my weekend watching all of the Halloween Town movies. Disney Plus, um, I don't really like. I think it's a weird little service. Uh, I mean, I guess it's cheap. Um, it feels, you know, there's just not that much on it that I want to watch. But... I have been enjoying uh, just randomly going back to, like, the terrible movies of my youth and just sort of watching them. Halloween Town is so random and weird, and I just love that somebody made it. Anywho, um, yeah, I think that's where I'm going to end this episode. I apologize, it's a little shorter, perhaps, than my usual episode. Um, I didn't have as much time to record because I was trying to work through some of these microphone issues, which I guess I sort of fixed, uh, but sort of didn't. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know if you have any ideas, thoughts, tips with the painting thing. Um, or any blocks that you think maybe I should try and use in one of my next rooms. I'm kind of excited just to get weird with this build and be a little strange and different. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think of those comments down below. Subscribe for more. All that jazz. And I apologize for headphone listeners' right ears. You were not used today. Um, yeah, I will catch you guys in the next one. Ciao.